Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to the channel.m. My name is George, and I am here to provide you with an update. We are going to talk about money in the video that we have for today. I am referring to the funds that are associated with the summer EBT cards, and in addition to that, we have new states. Following that, we are going to discuss the child tax credit because it is a potential source of more funds. Then, after that, we are going to discuss the $550 guaranteed income program that will wind down tonight. As far as the EBT system is concerned, we have replacement benefits in addition to a great deal more. Therefore, if you are interested in learning about what is going on, you have arrived to the appropriate location. The only thing you need to do is keep in touch. To what extent have you been able to see the various modifications that have been implemented with regard to this child tax credit? What I mean is that it's a lot for this year, right? Furthermore, if you are not attentive, you can be leaving money on the table. To be more specific, I'm talking about three to four hundred bucks for each child. I strongly advise you to look into hiring a professional tax preparation service this year because of this reason. Therefore, if you are in the state of Georgia, specifically Upscale Multiservice Atlanta, this is the location that you should visit. All right, Mr. Germain, I'm going to tell you that he is giving his services in the filing of taxes. He's been doing this for the past nine years, and the thing that truly differentiates him from others is the fact that he constantly prioritizes the needs of his customers. I'm simply stating that he offers virtual sessions, and then he's going to make sure that you get the biggest refund possible as well, even if you decide to give it to him. You can be qualified for a cash advance service that is available on the same day. That is to say, if you are experiencing any kind of difficulty regarding social security matters, we all want to receive the largest refund possible this year, especially because we are deserving of it. Therefore, I am unable to answer all of your queries. Nevertheless, I have provided you with someone who is able to do so, all right? I mean, they are providing additional funds for our children. For this reason, you should go ahead and give Mr. Germain a call. You may put your concerns to rest, since he will take care of them. As soon as you acquire any of that money, you should go ahead and look out for you, girl, and tell him that Shele sent you. Purchase the best, take care of what you have to do. Let's get things started in Louisiana, shall we? All right, let's get started. As you say, a eh, baby, uh, baby. It has been reported that you should check your summer EBT cards, guys, since there are reports that some individuals are receiving the entire $120 amount payment, while others are receiving different amounts such as $58 and $22. Therefore, you should check your cards and let me know what you find out. Those are the reports. However, because today is the final day of their Uplift Heroes program, we are going to travel to Texas as well. We are going to go there. Now, this application was made available a few weeks ago, and throughout the following 18 months, 2,000 individuals will be chosen to receive a monthly payment of $550. However, as of yesterday, they have had over 67,000 applications, is that correct? You need to go ahead and submit your application by tonight at 11.59p. M. Cinderella, if you want to be included in that number, get your application in as soon as possible. In addition, we are aware that when in Texas, even if they are not taking part in the EBT program during the summer, the schools are going to show up. Is it okay? One of the autonomous school districts has stated that they will continue to provide children with food throughout the summer months, as stated by El Peso School District, which has replied to the governor's decision to go ahead and opt out of the summer program. No matter the student's enrollment status or residency, they are going to provide free breakfast and lunch to all students between the ages of 1 and 18 free of charge. It was then that they said, Additionally, during the summer months, we are going to offer free breakfast and lunch that is both wholesome and healthy. Our kitchen is open. According to what I've observed, cities are increasingly taking issues into their own hands, and they want to continue the program as well as expand it even farther. However, from what I've seen, it appears that this is the trend that is occurring. Look, they are saying, okay, we are going to figure out a way to get this summer EBT program. On February 1 est, for instance, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, ENAACP, convened a conference in Greenville, South Carolina, 
to voice their worries regarding the negative effects of not participating in the summer EBT program. Then there is the situation in Nebraska, where representatives from the legislature compelled the state to go ahead and opt into the summer EBT program. They also compelled the governor of the state to hold a hearing of some kind in order to convince the state to enroll in the program. We had a conversation about this in Ohio, specifically in Lynn County, where they're also doing things themselves nevertheless. States are saying things like, look, we're going to get this money. In addition, in the state of Hawaii, a few days ago, we had a conversation about how officials had written a letter to the USD demanding that people in their state receive $177 over the course of the summer to help them purchase groceries. They looked at the data and said, look, with the absolute reflection of food cost data right now, higher costs on food for neighboring islands, and just inflation, we need to go ahead and increase that amount. And the proposal was successfully approved. All fine. So they will now receive $177 and the mainland will continue to receive $120 during this entire process. It is now possible for recipients who lost food as a result of the storm to receive replacement benefits in California. All right, well, so let's go with the next step and move on to California. The County of San Diego has stated that if you are a member of Call Fresh and you have purchased groceries or if they were damaged as a result of the recent flooding or winter storms, then you are eligible to have them replaced. Before the 21st of February, those who are receiving benefits have the opportunity to submit a request to have their benefits replaced. At this point, the term will be extended from 10 days to 30 days, however. In order for the reports to be considered for review, they must be submitted by local households in the county by the specified cut-off date. There is now extra information that can be obtained on the Call Fresh homepage for the county department. In addition, I would like to mention that Oregon has now extended theirs to the 16th of February as well. That is the situation that we are currently facing. As we go on to Florida, where residents may be unable to get Medicaid and SNAP benefits as a result of the internet glitch, let's go ahead and keep getting the party started. In the state of Florida, it has been reported that the site is experiencing technical difficulties, which are leading to extended wait times, requests to be made in person, and even the disconnection of calls to the Department of Children Affairs. In order to continue receiving the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP individuals who have claimed the program were required to recertify themselves by the 31st of January. However, it is still unknown how many individuals are having difficulty gaining access to their benefits and health care. There are more than 160 people who have reported having problems with the portal, according to a number of local outlets which is something that is kind of unknown. As a result of this, a significant number of these claimants have reported that they are having difficulty uploading documents, which is causing their applications to be rejected, or even just closed off, or even unfinished. I'm aware of the fact that it is pretty distressing to know that your case